I gave ChatGPT and Gemini 30 minutes to code Rocket League from scratch. No manual coding allowed. One made a playable game, the other completely broke my engine. You won't believe who failed. Let's start off the prompt with make us Rocket League right now and with simple ball movement and all similar movements to Rocket League. Also make sure I can play it right now. And finally, we're going to tell it to search the web for any Rocket League clones like this to make a better game. Now let's give it this prompt and start the timer. While the code is generating, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's try the first code and it's a 2D game. I mean, it's working. Do I have a boost? Wait, which one's my boost? Oh my, I cannot control. I mean, I was expecting a 3D game. So let's tell ChatGPT to make it 3D. The second code is now done. Let's try running it. Now this code should make the game 3D. We do have a 3D game. What is going on with the map? And why am I so fast? Where's the ball? We're way too fast. So let's tell ChatGPT to slow us down. It did suggest realistic car physics. So let's also tell it to add that. Okay, this speed is a bit better. Try score. Whoa, what was that? The score doesn't update, but we do have a base template of the game, so that's pretty good. Let's ask for the jump mechanism, and on top of that, we'll also ask for boost pads. So far, ChatGPT is doing really well constructing his game. So it looks like I have to press shift to jump. Let's try this out. This is the boost. I can just go through it. Let's try scoring again. Okay, so the ball just goes through the map. You also gotta tell it to fix that. Yeah, okay, let's try hitting the ball. I mean, it's all right. That doesn't count any score though. Let's tell ChatGPT to add some nets. And ChatGPT just gave me a blue screen. How surprising. We're at the 10 minute mark and ChatGPT is just fixing its error. What have they done? Why am I so fast? I can't even hit the ball. Wait, so what happens if I boost? Oh my, they just made me the flash. Let's tell it to fix the speed and let's also tell it to add a ball cam. They did not lower the speed. I'm still really fast. Should I running it again? Oh, the ball is actually slower now. I'm still really fast. We need to be way more slower. And I also asked for a ball cam, but it still didn't provide me that. Okay, this is much better. Okay, I'm guessing these are the nets at the side, right? It is really hard to control this. We also have to add the AIs. Wait, is that gold? No, it's not gold. Which one's the gold? I can't tell what's what. Let's tell ChatGPT to actually add gold nets. Let's also ask for an AI that I can go against. Simple Chaser AI, Smarter Soccer Bot, Rocket League Style Bot. Let's try Simple Chaser AI because I feel like I'm really bad at Rocket League already. The AI just going circles. Where's the net? Let's ask AI to add the toggle camera. But when I press C, the ball toggle camera should be working. Okay, that's really good. Except I'm looking at the front version. So when I press W, I move closer to the camera. Maybe that's why it's really hard. Did I just score? Okay, I don't think the score is working. Let's tell ChatGPT to fix that as well. We have less than 10 minutes and ChatGPT is doing fairly well. So when I move forward, the WASD works. Okay, so the controls are a little different than what I would like, but it's still playable. Okay, Chaser AI might not be the smartest AI. Does the scoreboard work? Chaser? Chaser, give me the ball. Chaser, I want the ball. Chaser, please give me the ball. It just goes around the ball, so we have to fix that AI. The score did not work. Chaser, what happened to you? Let's try scoring though. Come on. The score did not update. I think Chaser might be making his own particle accelerator. And lastly, I noticed that the ball is more like a bird's eye view. I mean, I guess it works. It is a ball cam. It's just not the ball cam from my player's vision. But I don't think we have time to fix that. I think the score and the AI should be the most important key aspects. So let's tell ChatGPT to fix that. ChatGPT claims that it updates the scoreboard now. Let's try it out. It does not update. But I don't think the scoreboard works. Did ChatGPT make its functional game? Or will it let me down again for the third time? Where's the ball? Why is the ball there now? Okay, let's tell it to fix the ball camera. ChatGPT has less than 20 seconds to fix the game. The timer has now ended and ChatGPT just finished this game. Let's go try the finalized product. The last thing I asked ChatGPT is that the goals don't register. So this is where we test out if ChatGPT made Rocket League. We're in the game. Ball camera does not work. Chaser is functional again. I mean, I don't even know where my net is. So let's try scoring. Wait. It did hit the net, but it didn't update the scoreboard. I think I've seen enough. Let's see what Gemini creates. I'm going to give Gemini the same exact prompt that I gave to ChatGPT. Let's give Gemini the prompt and start the timer. It's giving me the code. Let's try testing it. It's made me the game and it's also made me a 2D game. Let's tell Gemini that we want a 3D game. It's giving us our 3D game. Let's tell it to add some features now. And it's giving me the ball. The camera's a little different. We're still speedy. Let's try hitting the ball. But this is working. Let's tell Gemini to add a scoreboard. And let's also tell it to add some AIs. Where's my AI? He doesn't feel like playing the game. Let's try scoring. Oh, this is really hard. I guess Rocket League does have that. Goal. Oh, so the score is working. I don't know. I feel like the AI might be tired. Why is it just sitting there? Let's tell Gemini the AI is not playing. I have to add some movements like aerials and stuff like that. Because I think Gemini is really capable of that. 500 lines of code. Open with live server. Oh, the AI still does not want to play. Press again for double jump. I mean, I don't see myself flipping. The AI is tracking the ball, but I'm pretty sure it's stuck. So let's tell Gemini to fix that. And also the flip doesn't work. So let's also tell it to fix that. AI is 
abusing the corner system. I can't even... Oh my. 14. Okay, I stopped the ball. Yeah. Yeah, you do your circles, buddy. And I'm going to score my goal. Wait. Let's go. I scored a goal. And it's just going back to the corner method. Let's see what Gemini creates this time. He's back in the corner. That's not what I wanted. I still can't do the flips. Wait, I just did it. I'm not that slippery anymore. Gemini just gave me a black screen. I don't think the game might be working anymore. This might be a really hard challenge for both AIs. It's fixed the game, but the AI isn't working. We're almost at the 20 minute mark, and I think ChatGPT and Gemini have an equal amount of flaws in these games. I don't know why, but Gemini does not want to fix the AI. Nah, I can't move left or right. Where's the AI? What is the AI doing? The turn physics work again. AI is still not moving. Maybe let's ask Gemini to give it a different spawn location. AI is in the different corner. It just doesn't work. Okay, the AI is working again. He's just scoring every goal. Let's tell the AI to make him slower. But I think he just has to be difficult. I think I just I just have to lose. I do have infinite boosts as well. There's no boost pads around. Maybe let's try adding that instead. Let's also ask it to give me five seconds of a preparation before kickoff. We do have boost pads. So every feature that I try adding, the AI just goes back to not working. We have less than five minutes and the AI is still struggling on making the AI work. The AI is working again. The boost is working. This is a playable game again. No, oh, I missed. No, 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 no. You can't flip, but you can double jump, which is still okay. It's not using the corner method anymore. Okay, this is good. We have three minutes, so let's ask it to make a pre-lobby where we can choose between 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. Let's try 2v2. It doesn't look like I can choose between any of them. There you go, 1v1. 1v1 is working. Let's refresh. 2v2. 2v2 is working. And let's refresh one more time. 3v3 is working. Lastly, let's ask it for some player name cards when you score. This is the final game that Gemini made. Let's test it out. Let's try the 1v1. Okay, the AI is not that annoying this time. No, 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 no. Red ball one. Let's try again. I can score for sure, right? Well, I just jumped over the ball. Let's go. Let's try one more time. Let's go. Wait, red ball one goal, but my score still went up. Let's try the 2v2. Oh, oh, we're down one. Let's try it again. Oh, I scored. I scored an own goal. Let's try the 3v3 now. Let's go. That's one goal. I'm on the, I think I'm on the defense. Oh no, 1-1. One, one. Next team to score wins. Can we win? Can we win? Okay, good defense, good defense. No, 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 no. Yes. And they scored an own goal. Let's go. We won. Make sure to join the Discord in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to comment down below which AI did better and what game you want to see next. Click here to check out the full playlist and catch up on the entire series. It's packed with even more AI coding chaos. Go watch it now.